Give me one second. I gotta set the phone up. I got a special guest caller on the line. Yeah, shut this up. Okay, come on. Yo, yo. Set it up. Tell him. Hello? Yo, what up? I'm setting it up right now. So, hang it up, hang it up. Sean? Okay, we got it set up. 1-800-223-9797. DJ K Slate Drama King. I got a special guest on the line tonight. Who we got on the line, man? What's up? It's the kid 50 Cent, man. What's going on out there, man? Yo, 50, what's poppin', man? Oh, man, anything good. I'm on a promo tour. I'm running around promoting a new record. That's what's up. You let everybody know I'm coming out on the 3rd instead of the 8th. Oh, say, so the new date. It's March 3rd. March 3rd. Streets couldn't wait. Couldn't wait, man. You know how it is. And I mean, and it, no, I, I ain't even mad at the bootlegging situation. That's the same thing they created me. You know what I mean? That's what's up. All right. So what's going on, man? How how, how they treating you out there, man? Oh, man, everything's good. I heard, I hear they, they, you know, off at the mouth in, in the city, though. I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. It's the game, fifth. Yeah, it's yeah, the you know. it's, it's the game. Word up. What's, 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 I expect them to, you know, to say, say, um, you know, all kinds of things. You know, they got a lot of pride. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't think they can survive me, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. We gonna, we gonna keep it lyrical, though, right? Uh, well, you know, you know, it is what it is. I mean, however it, it evolves down, you, you know, we do however it, you know, if it get funky. Because the kid, the, the fat joker, he going to Philly. Talking about when you see me, you gonna punch me in my face, and that's not just between me and you in, in New York City, okay, right? Yeah. I will whoop his fat ass. You see what I'm saying? Like on a on a on a on a one on one tip, like wherever. Uh, on that note, like you you don't really want to do that. You know what I'm saying? You want to just write the verse. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it there. You know what I mean? But when when he starts, you know, going to say that, then what, what do you think my expectations of you are when I run into you? Guess it's gonna be on, man. I don't think we need that right now, though, man. We don't need all, that. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if he's saying that, if that's what you're saying, if that's what you're running around saying, then what, what do you think? Like, not, no, I right, forget about me. Let's say I'm sensible enough to, to fall back, right? Yeah. But what about the, the other 30 people that'll be there every time I'm around? <laughs> what are their expectations? You understand what I'm saying? That's real. That's real talk. That's what I mean. For, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, like I, ain't, I ain't said none of that to them. But, but when you start talking all that shit, when you get that fancy, you got to be there. You got to be ready for that. That's all I'm saying. Oh man. One eight hundred two two three nine seven nine seven. We got fifty cent on the line. I'm saying, um, what else is going on, man? Like. It's so crazy right now. The tension and the drama in the city. I ain't gonna front, man. It's so crazy right now. Like, this is like the biggest thing in years, man. Which is what's so funny. You always seem to be a part of the drama, dog. Yeah, I don't know how I fall up in the middle of everything all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna blame this on Jay Z, K. Say that again? You know what I'm, I'm gonna blame this on Jay Z. Word? You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you why, because. Both of them, both parties in this situation right now have had previous issues with him. And he didn't, and it, he really didn't get him because he was like, ah, oh, man, these bum ass, you know, they don't count. They left him on the side. Because I'm willing to compete, they, they shocked. Like, they're like, wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is he saying this about me? Watch when they see that number come back the first week. Mm. It's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. The album's crazy. I'm coming out. I'm coming out on a Thursday. Oh, you coming out on the same day as my show? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we, we got, I need an interview or something, man. Yeah, Word we up. need to sit down. Yeah, I need an interview. Word up. You debuting, you debuting on the drama hour night. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 50, 50, 50. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yo. You know, do you know how much I love this? I enjoyed it. I know you do. That's what's so ugly about it. You live for it, just like I live for it, man, on the real, man. When I, I ain't gonna front, when I hear a, a, a beef record, I catch an adrenaline rush, yo. It does something yeah, I want to see, I want to see how good they are. They can compete. You know, so you can hear when I, the way I wrote the record. I'm just enjoying myself. So they got it, great rappers. They're great rappers. They're both good rappers. Okay. Not great songwriters. So that was the worm on the hook, in other words? Yeah. 
I said this is Chestnut, Texas. He's a warning shot. Mm. How, what's up with the rest of the camp? Oh, man, everybody's good, man. I, I'm not even letting them say nothing because I already jumped off. So there ain't no sense in going backwards and being less effective. So I'm saying, so how, how do you feel about uh, Jada? How you feel about handling that situation? I mean, how you feel about Nas? So like, it's a lot of people involved, 50? Yeah, but I don't hear much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't hear much, okay? Like, I mean, I, I, would, I would know how to address it according to their responses to what I'm hearing from. So, it's a, I mean, until I hear something, you know, it is what it is. I mean, for me, you know, I'm going to say what I say, get off my chest, and then the, the actions behind that says, you know, I think even the streets are saying that uh, no, I shouldn't say nothing. Mm. You know, the last one was a dud. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, 1 800 223 9797. We got 50 Yo, on the line. So you said they changed the date to March 3rd, right? Yeah. Which, what's your, uh, which, what, give me, give me, give me an uh, expectation number. Oh, what? Oh, man. I, I think I'm going to do. Million? Yeah, I probably should do what Jay Kiss did the whole album. <laughs> First week. <laughs> you know, probably like three times as much as Fat Joe. Yeah. <laughs> First week. You know what I mean? Oh, man. We see how that, you know, how it works out. 1-800-223-9797. We got 50 on the line. What up? You want, you want, you want, you want, you want to plug anything else, 50? Oh, man. Just, I, did, I did my serious radio deal. So now I have my own um, radio format on the entire Saturdays on serious radio. Okay. You know, so I'm, I'm doing all kinds of deals behind the scenes. Let's just keep it going. Get busy. I mean, like, wow, wow. I'm just addressing other people's actions. I mean, I know the general public shit. They see... That, you know, the, the, the reason why I'm um, responding to them the way I am. Because, I mean, if they didn't, I got to show them. I'm going to put everything that, that kind of motivated me to write this record. I'm going to put it uh, all on, on one internet site so they can go check it out. Because they try to make me out to look like I'm just, like, the bad guy. Like, I'm bullying them or something. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't never said nothing to this guy. Why is he saying, come on, man? You know what you're saying, man. So know know. let the tri-state area know and everybody that's listening, everybody that's locked down, you know, I know cats got to go to the bathroom. The cats want to puff blunts. They want to go in the club, but they listening right now. What ignited this whole beef? Oh, man. It's, you know what? It, it's a, a whole bunch of stuff. Like, but for Nas, Nas went to pump with Central Park. He had a free show. He, and out of nowhere, he just come with, it, yo, you, you know, if y'all tired, it's watered down. Music. I don't know what he meant by that. What do you mean? The, the music they actually sell? Mm. You see what I'm saying? And then, and for there, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really get where he was coming from with that. You know what I'm saying? That was out of nowhere. And then, with, uh, they didn't, he, didn't, he didn't do much outside of that. What's the name? Outside of being on the I'm from New York record. So it was basically uh, based around that record? Yeah, he was aligning himself with it. Everybody knows he's going, oh, fire. Like, I, why I got to be the only one to know he's trying to be indirect with that? At the mm. time, the, the latest hit record that I released from Viewing the Records was on fire. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And they know that. They, and, they, and you still went and supported it and did that. I don't even understand why Jada would be supporting Ja on the, on the I'm From New York record when he was calling extra crackhead last week. In my head... DMX is Rough Riders. When I was saying that all the other hearts just come from y'all, I was making a reference to DMX, man. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And then for them to do it, they confused me. That that was confusing. That's when I get upset, when I don't understand, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm hearing some logic now. What you know about- what I'm saying? That, that bugged me out right there. And then, and, and, and you know, Styles, they, they've been on the radio, and he he said, he said, baby. Indirectly, they be, they be, you know, they, they throw shots all the time. I, I even understand. I understand their motivation. You got to use somebody to keep you, you motivated or moving. And, and Joe's been doing that with with, with Jay-Z his, almost his whole career. You know what I'm saying? But then expect me to respond. I'm not I'm not the same dude. Like, we, I'm not going to sit back. I don't feel like I'm too good. 
to get down and dirty with him. It don't matter to me, man. So if you get a billion dollars, it don't matter. If somebody take a shot at you, it's like, yo, well, I got to grab the bike and get at him. Yeah, let me get him. Especially while I'm acting. Okay, this is my first album. Jay's at the point in his career. You, you heard him say, what more can I say? Mm. He's at the point in his career where he felt like he, he's done his best material. I'm, yep. I'm still fresh. This is my first. This is my second record. I'm going into right. Here. And and I watch. I watch the entire city. I watch everybody. I went through. It was a shadow of doubt cast over me. It's cast over. I guess all artists in between projects. But they're like, yo, not can he make a hit because everybody around me. All I do is put out hit records. There's nobody on my label. Period. Under a million records sold. Mm. Real talk right there. Yo, we gotta you know, go. We gotta go to commercial. Fifty, stay on the line. One 9797 We about to pay the bills. We'll be right back. It's the drama hour. Now we do this. Warning! 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 The drama king is in the building. Hey, you on the phone? Come on, K. Now, Sean, you hey, at work, on, you on, on the on. phone. I'm on the phone. I just got Fat Joe on the line. All right, Shall then put him on. Now. Then put him on. <laughs> yo, you ready? You, you got ready a show to do. Yo. Yo, hey, I see you. Check this up. Yo, I see you. Check the phone up. <laughs> All right. Check the phone up. And, Chan. 1 800 7 You know this is double drama. We got Fat Joe on the line. We got Joey Crack is on the line. Joe, what's up, man? What up, Slizzard Thong? What's poppin', Joe? Oh, man. Damn! It's crazy. Yeah, I'm just chillin'. I'm in the cut, man. I'm in the cut. Yeah, it sound like you were sleeping, man. What you got? Yeah, yeah, I was getting some rest because I've been shooting that video for like two days. So much more? Yeah, it's crazy. Good luck. Real good luck, man. And um, I heard this coward call you up. You know this is the drama hour. This is where everything happens. <laughs> this is Yo, Slate, man. This ain't ring. This ain't WWF, man. So, so explain what it is. Listen, first of all, man, this dude. You know what I'm saying? He wanna come at me. I ain't had no problem with this dude. This dude. Just invented a problem, you know what I mean? We gave him ample enough time to change the record. He didn't want to change the record or whatever the case may be, so he wants pe he wants beef. So the dude wants rap battle beef. Okay. You know that you ain't never, you yourself ain't never see this dude in the club. His, his number one record is called In the Club. We ain't never see this dude in the club <laughs> in our life. He ain't grow up with the 20 white boys that he be with every day. Wow. And that bulletproof shit, that shit ain't fly, B. That, he act like, yo, my Teflon car, no, you scared. Wait, hold up, Joe, it's still radio, Listen, Joe. this is double drama. <laughs> it's still nah, 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 it's real, it's real talk, so um, people got to understand, this dude is CB4, man, he a gimmick. I mean, all that, he'll kill Ja, catch you when I catch you, I won't back down. It's been like four years, he ain't even slap box with Ja yet. So you know, this dude, he be throwing mad darts, he's a hermit, he stay home all day. And um, he just feel he diss people from long distance, so he know he don't be in no queen. Queens ain't never see this dude, man. So what the point is that this dude, he's a rap battler, a great entertainer. He makes great music. Other than that, he ain't real. Ain't nobody losing sleep over him. Whatever the case may be, the bulletproof vest is the fake Scarface on the, you know, crossbow. Dudes in the hood don't be having crossbows, B. So, you know, at the end of the day, crack is crack. This dude wants some credibility, and he figured like, boom, I. Right. So he did Nas on the record. People was like, oh, Nas is nice. He did Ether. He did... Jada kiss on the record, yo, Jada, them boys, they nice, he dissed Joe, hold up. Like, 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 you gotta admit, when you first heard he dissed Joe, you're like, this dude ain't crazy. He cannot be serious. 
disrespecting Joe, but that's what the fans feel. So he trying to win credibility disrespecting me because the fans know they see me in Harlem. They see me in Brooklyn. They see me in the Bronx. They see me with no bodyguard. I never had a bodyguard in my life. So he feel like, oh, I disrespect him. I'm going to get points off it. He don't understand. He's a coward, B. He's a coward. This dude, scared of his own shadow, man. Them steroids is getting to him, man. <laughs> this is real talk, man. I'm going to address him on the album one time, man. I ain't no battle rapper. And if you want to see me, don't, don't talk to the... You see, this all radio and all this is like I'm falling for the plan. Yo, don't do... You know Chris Lighty. Chris Lighty knows me very well. Tell me where to meet you. I'll walk down there one deep and I will knock you out. That's, it's simple. It's, it's, it's so simple because at the end of the day, he ain't built like that. So when he look at Joe Crack eyes, he ain't going to want it like that. He ain't going to want it. I'm telling you, he not built like that. Matter of fact, these dudes, man. Yo, hey, yo, man. Listen. 1-800-223-9797 hey, hey, for hey, promotional use only. These dudes, yo, check this out. <laughs> yo, like I said, man, these dudes is hilarious to me, man. For real, they hilarious to me. I'm at the Vibe Awards. No disrespect. I love Dr. Dre to death. In fact, I worship him. But got mad love for Eminem. Chris Lighty put me on, so I always have love for him, even though I feel he could have avoided the situation. These dudes come. This one little dude punched Dr. Dre in the face. 50 dudes that was just screaming G-Unit and all that run out the back. Now, if your boss gets snuffed, you think you come back in. These dudes was gone. We never seen them the rest of the night. In fact, the whole area was nice and comfortable after that. So these dudes here, man, they clowns, man. They clowns. So expect the, oh, forget that, you know, F Fat Joe, his mom's this. I mean, that's all cool and all. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't seeing nobody. We don't see him at the Rucker. We don't see him in New York. I mean, I give $1,000 to the first caller to show me a picture of 50 in the club. You know, with the graffiti backgrounds, you know, the 40 doo-wop joints. <laughs> so, somebody who showed me, a girl, beautiful young lady who's been in the club with him. This dude can't even do an album release party, man. He got to do it in his house. He ain't serious, man. He really ain't serious, man. I will expose this dude, man. This is real. He's he messing with the truth now. He's crazy. Serious, man. He's serious. I don't, I don't, yo, listen. I don't even like this. I don't like the battle rap. I asked the dude nicely when I heard the rumor that he disrespected me. I extended courtesy and I said, listen, Chris, tell him I don't have a problem with him. He could take that off, live happily ever after. I live happy ever after because I really was never throwing... Shots at him, a smack DVD. I got my own subliminals that I throw at people. I had no problem with this dude. John, him, and them dudes had beef. They never included me in their beef. New York, got to understand, they never said, let's gang up on 50. Jada Kiss did that record. He ain't do that record thinking, oh, we going against 50. New York City needed an anthem. I don't know what's wrong with New York City. This dude disrespects Sean. Sean is locked up. Big up Sean for busting his gun, a real dude. This dude is dissing him and he's, he's locked up in jail. You understand what I'm saying? This dude disses Little Kim. This dude disses Jay-Z when he tells Beyonce in, 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 in uh, Summer Jam, yo, if you want another man, your man don't do you right, come over. I mean, this dude is the most disrespectful. He's going to diss Eminem one day. Him and Game is bound to go at it. I mean, this dude is Nino Brown, man. This dude is really a problem, man. He's a disrespectful dude. I mean, where, where can I stop? Where can I stop how this dude be disrespecting people all the time? And New York City still want to go with the gimmick. They don't see this dude. This dude ain't the truth. This dude ain't the truth. We don't see him. You have never seen this dude in the club. You have never seen this dude come up in Hot 97 without the place being surrounded. <laughs> so how are you? Am I right or wrong, man? Am I right or wrong? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. You see, this is the new stuff. When you want exclusive interviews, let's tell the people the truth. Let's tell the people the truth. You have never seen this dude without 20 security. Them dudes did not grow up in Southside Queens. Cock Diesel um, white boys. They did not grow up in Queens, man. Stop fooling the people. When you're trying to come at Joe, 
I don't know. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? This dude, you sell more records than me? Fine. You sell more records than everybody. I'm happy for you. Another black brother making some money. It's, it doesn't bother me. I'm happy for you. Sell your sneakers. <laughs> Tell your records. I'm not mad at you. I'm not a. I, I deal with so many people jealous, of, jealous of me. You understand? I'm not jealous of no man. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not jealous of this man and what he get. He going delirious. He think everybody mad at him because he get money or he sell. Right. Ain't nobody mad at you, man. Do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do, but don't be be coming at me, disrespecting me. That's all I'm saying to you. He talking all that. He ain't never going to see the guard. He ain't never coming to see me. I'm everywhere. I've been walking around New York. I've been home for two days. I went and shot a video in Brooklyn. Shot the video on the Lower East Side. I've been walking around the Bronx. Just came from Washington Heights. Was in Queens earlier. We don't see this dude, man. We do not see this dude. So he up here, you know, his name should be Vince McMahon. Because this dude is just selling hype or whatever. The, I'm not with that, man. Like I said, I'm only addressing the issue... Because it's just so out of proportion and, and the streets is like, yo, Joe, you know, answer him. But I'm not with this battle rap stuff, man. So I'm going to address him one time, one time only. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it moving from there. That's People talking, talking like, about. you know, I heard rumors, you know, like, yo, it sounds like he got people under pressure. Under pressure? Dog, I'm Debo. I just rolled up on a bike. Are you crazy? I will cripple his own organization if I want to. I'm just being, yo, I'm being a nice guy about this, man. I'm being a super nice guy about this situation there. And don't get it wrong, it's impossible to hurt this dude with 20 cops all day. It's impossible. That's why he do all that. That's why he talking all reckless coming up here, man. The gimmick is up, man. Gimmick is up, but leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Reverend Run, please. Lauren Hill, somebody make a We Are The World, man. Get this dude out of my face. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Please, man. Yo, one 800 We got Joey Crack on the line. Yo, Crack, man. I mean, I'm, be I'm being honest, man. I ain't even want to do this like this, but I'm being honest with y'all, man. I'm being so honest, man. I'm not even ab about this battle rap. I never look for trouble with this dude. Know what I'm saying? I'm trying to set a great example. Do basketball programs for the kids, computers for the kids. I try to do positive things, man. I ain't worried about this dude. This dude want to disrespect. He want to sell his records off of us. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? He made his songs, his girl songs and all that. That's cool. I'm not mad at him. In fact, Hoolan Dre, Terror Squad producer, the guy who's produced New York, produced the hottest song they got out right now, which is the Hate It or Love It. I ain't hate on that. I ain't tell them not to produce for him. They can produce whoever they want to produce for. The candy shop record. Let's go into the candy shop. I produced that with Scott Storch. That was my record, that beat right there. I was in the studio in Miami. We worked together. Scott Storch produced it. I sat in with him. Let me just give it the full credit because I don't produce. So Scott Storch did the beat. Do you like this? Do you like these horns? Whatever the case. We did it. I took it to the crib. I said, you know why it sounds a little bit too much like lean back. That doo-doo, doo-doo, doo I came up with all that. Scott calls me over 100 times, tells me, yo, 50 Cent, want to use this 50 Cent. I never cock blocked that dude. I was like, man, do what you got to do. He, 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 he could use it. Are you sure, Joe? Are you sure? I said, yeah, he could use it. I mean, you know, I ain't no hater. So the candy shop, Joe Crack, actually produced that joint right there. I mean, this dude, man, biting the hand, he feed him so, so immensely. I don't think he understand, man. I really don't understand. I don't think, I don't really think he understand. You know what I mean? But not at, and never in history did Murder, Inc. or Ja Rule or Irv or any of them dudes gas me to get in a situation. Never was they like, yo, let's go at this dude. Let's team up at this dude. Nothing like that. I ain't had no problem with this dude. I wasn't messing with him. Because I'm a loyal dude and I got love for Murder, Inc. And I got love for, for the Inc. It wasn't my situation, but, you know, I ain't had no problem with the dude. You know what I'm saying? Whatsoever, man. This dude coming at me, I, I don't... He can't be serious, man. He can't be serious. And I've been doing this 13 years. I read what he said in the vibe. All the funny style stuff. He's crazy. You can't... What, fat Joe's fat. He's fat. I'm fat. I'm Fat Joe. I don't sell records like that. You right. Um, 
I'm pussy? I mean, no one believes you. So I, I don't know what this dude is talking about. He's a funny dude, but I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to see how he thinks he's going to make me, you know, destroy me and, and sign me to Koch Records. I, I, I truly don't understand it. I walk these streets every day by myself. You see me, Slay. You see me by myself. This dude is miserable. Can't come out of his house. Disrespects everybody. New York made him, man. Read the vibe where he says, fuck New York City. New York City, man, I don't even wish, I don't know what's up with y'all. Read the vibe very clearly where he says, F New York City, man. The whole entire New York City. We made him. The streets made him. They liked his mixtapes, so they rolled with him. They thought he was the underdog, whatever the case may be. This dude turned around and started talking to you greasy. And y'all do gonna stay in there and tolerate this. New York hip hop. This is amazing, bro. This is, this is disgusting, but it's all right. You know why? Everything is 360. What goes around comes around. Everything's 360. Everything could look crazy, look like an empire. Some of you, your biggest strength could be your biggest weakness, man. I think he won't win this, man. I don't believe he could win this. Nah. Not Joe, Jada, Nas, Sean. I mean, I mean, one 800 9797 Joe Crack on the line. Joe Crack, thanks for hollering, man. Yo, Slay, man, you always get me in controversy, man. How did I? Oh, hey, yo, hey, yo, man, Slay, you damn. always get me. I love you, though. You my brother. You the black fat Joe. Remember that, yo, man. Yo, Joe, I started this one? Remember that? Nah, you never started this one. Oh, you man, never started this you. one. Damn, man. Did he ever go to Harlem to rhyme on your mixtape, Slay? Yeah, he, he did one time. Oh, man, that must have been many moons ago, boy. That must have been yeah. many moons, that was, Slay. Actually, that was on the, oh, that was on the Alpo mixtape part two. All right. What happened? That was on the, the, I think, Street Sweepers number 11. All right, on the album mixtape? Yeah, the part two, I think. And that was so appropriate. That was the part two. <laughs> <laughs> that was so appropriate. It's all good, though, my brother. It's all good. Joe Crack's very happy. He's chilling. New <laughs> album, April 26th. It's straight fire. This dude better go make a new album because this shit is trash, too. Holla at your boy, Crack, bitch. Yo, <laughs> yo, Crack. Yo, holla at your boy, Crack. Yo, 1-800-223-9797. Yo, we in double drama right now, for real. It only goes down like this right here. Now, y'all can go back in the clubs, could run to the bathroom or whatever. You understand? I'm going to play some joints, and we'll be right back with my man, I, I see him. Hot 9-7.